At the beginning of the movie, we see Detective Emanuel Ritter and his wife Marina celebrating the birth of their child in the hospital. The nurse says she has to take the baby for the final checkup and set up their discharge. After she leaves, Ritter receives a call from his office, and while he is leaving, Marina says they will be waiting for him. We then see another lady named Beatrice with his newborn, only then another nurse comes on duty and the first nurse leaves. The nurse then locks the door, takes out a scalpel from her purse, and starts to stab Ritter's baby and other infants in the nursery. Now seeing this there is chaos there and the guards try to break into the nursery, but till then the nurse has killed all the newborns and slit her own throat. Ritter reaches the hospital in anger and starts crying out loud seeing his dead child. Now after five years, we see Beatrice, and she watches the news on TV about a mass shooting at an elementary school. Then her son Issa comes out and has a fever. So he did not go to school? He tells her he had a nightmare that he was at school with his cousin, and the devil came after them. He screamed for her to help him, but she didn't hear him. She takes Issa to his room, after which she calls her sister Alina and tells her about the incident as her child also studies in the same school. We then see Ritter at the school investigating the incident, and learn that the ninth grade kid fired 28 rounds killing most of the kindergarten kids before he blew his brain out with a shotgun. On the other hand, we see that Alina's child was also killed in that shooting, and she tells Ritter that a few days ago a weird old man dressed in black approached her in the street. He said something bad would happen to her nephew and her son Jonathan, and only he could protect them. He was very tall and completely bald, with satanic symbol tattoos on his head. Ritter asks did he ask her for money, to which she says no, but he told her there would be more tragedies. One had already happened a few years ago, and there are five more to come. He then comes out in front of the media and answers their questions, and we see that old man keeping an eye on him. Meanwhile, we see Ivan Franco at the crime scene, who tells his team that they will take some photos and samples and leave. Inside the school they find some marks going up in the wall. Now the next day the children are in swimming class when a janitor starts moving towards them with an electric wire, and before the children can get out, she jumps into the pool. Ritter reaches the location and asks Detective Demetrio to show the sketch of the suspect to the parents of the victims. He then sees the body of the janitor whose eyes are completely white, but suddenly it turns, and he collides with Ivan, who is a paranormal forensic specialist. He tells him about their founding at the school yesterday, a pattern that they think has been replicated here. He then shows him the fingerprints they found on the ceiling, and the same prints were found at the hospital where he lost his son. Ritter thinks Chief Nadra is paying them to do all this, but Ivan tries to explain to him that he asked him to be assigned to this case because there is a clear pattern that happened between the hospital and the school, and he might be the key to this. Only then does Demetrio come there and tell him that a woman recognized the man with the tattoos. Ivan tells him that his name is Vasilio Canetti, a former priest excommunicated for performing satanic rituals in Rome. He was seen at the nursery three days after his son was killed and was also seen at the school ground the day shooting happened. Ivan then shows him the patterns and says they are not matching anything they know, but when he turns on the other light, they get shocked to see the handprints all around the wall and ceiling. He then takes them to his lab and tells them that in this case they are using high-speed images to capture sound, and inside a room that they vacuum sealed. Strangely, they recorded some sounds. He tells them that this sound repeats every hour for six seconds at the exact time these kids were killed. Ritter asks him if he has nursery recordings too, and then he listens to those recordings. They then visit a witch named Lena for help and ask her about Kennedy. She reads their cards and gets shocked, and tells them that one of them gonna die. Suddenly a toy capped on the table flies and hits the wall, and only then do they hear the scream of Lena's daughter from upstairs, and they find the things in her room flying. Lena tries to calm down her daughter and asks them all to get out of her house, but she asks Ritter to make her peace with the Lord. Now the next day we see that priest kidnaps Beatrice and Issa from the front of the cinema hall, after which a man enters the cinema hall and blasts the bomb. Later, during the investigation, Demetrio tells Ritter that a four-year-old boy named Issa was absent from school and the swimming pool class that day, and his cousin was one of the victims of the school shooting. They both were listed at the swimming class by Alina, only then their team tells them that they found a survivor, who tells them that the priest from the Church of Children was there, and then she dies. They then visit the Church of Children, where they find a paper with your son could be a messiah written on it. Ivan removes a painting of Jesus behind which a satanic symbol is drawn on the wall, and then they find a similar symbol under a carpet. They see that such symbols are made everywhere in the room. 
Suddenly they hear some voice that makes them alert and this voice is of a child laughing. After which they start hearing the sound of many children chanting. They enter a room where many crucifixes are lying on the ground and there are also some symbols on the walls. Ritter says something smells very rotten here. To which Ivan says it could be the presence of the dark entity. Ivan says that whatever it is, is inside the statue of Jesus. And Ritter thinks that maybe someone must have hidden the kill child inside the statue. But when they go to check it, it suddenly comes alive and they understand that a devil is imprisoned in the statue. He tells them that his son is going to be resurrected on this earth and they all have to kneel before him. He also tries to lure Ritter to give him his wife and son back. But Ritter asks him where is Kennedy as he just wants the killings to be stopped. Demon asks Ritter to kill a child and he won't return for thousands of years. Ritter says he is not a murderer, to which Demon says he can bring his wife back. Only then he hears Marina in his son's voices and then he sees her saying they will be waiting for him. Ivan tries to stop Ritter but he keeps walking toward her. Marina says she wants to give him another son and asks him to save them. She holds his baby in his hand and Ivan tries to convince Ritter that she is not his wife. Ritter sees that the child in his lap is a devil, and by then the devil has freed himself. But before he can attack Ivan, Ivan shoots him. After this, he goes to Ritter, but Ritter starts hitting him, and only then that priest knocks him unconscious with a taser gun. The next day, Kennedy tells Ritter that the devil tempts strong souls like him and manipulates the weak souls to destruction. So whatever happened yesterday was not entirely his fault. He shows him Ivan's footage and tells him that it's a miracle that he and his friend are not dead. He then tells him that the Lord has been reborn for the third time and the enemy is doing everything in his power to kill him again. This is cousin Jonathan who died at the school shooting was the real incarnation of John the Baptist. Four years ago at the hospital, the resurrection of St. Paul was terminated. Their plan is to take Issa across the border to some monastery. They want to train him until he develops his skills. Demetrio helps them to cross the border through a tunnel that was built to smuggle drugs and guns. But after going some distance, they see two ways in front of them and they chose the left door. But Issa stops there and points them towards another door. They move forward in that route where Ritter asks priests why the Vatican expel him, to which he says he sold his soul. Everyone gets shocked to hear this and Beatrice asked him why he did that. Kennedy says so that the devil would show him the way to the boy. Then on going a little further, they see some strange and horrifying statues and Kennedy tells them that they will have to leave because this place is not safe for the child and them. But Raider says it is only a room full of statues, to which Kennedy says this is a chapel for the unholy and it is not safe. Ritter asks Kennedy where are the other missing children, on which he says they are alive and safe in a protected place. But Ritter says that he killed them and he is lying. Kennedy tells others that Ritter is possessed, and he begins to chant prayers. Now the devil starts dominating Ritter and says that he will kill all of them, and everyone gets very scared seeing this. Kennedy continues the prayers, after which everything starts shaking there and in a short time it becomes completely dark there. They then hear Beatrice scream but she says she is okay, and when they light the pyro torch, they hear the devil's growl, but then Ritter attacks a man from behind and kills him and knocks Kennedy down with a taser gun. During this, Beatrice tries to escape, but Ritter starts chasing them and Issa was able to see Demon in him. Beatrice and Issa run out of the tunnel and Ritter gives chase. But before he could shoot Issa, Demetro arrives and tries to stop him. Demon tries to manipulate Ritter in his wife's voice but Ritter resists and cries out to Demetrio for help. But then he shoots and kills him. He then snatches Issa from Beatrice and the devil asks him to pluck out the child's eyes. But Beatrice knocks him down, and before she could kill him, Ivan reaches there and stops her. Later, Kennedy tells them that it's not over yet. They have to confront the devil once again and they must defeat him under his own roof. He asks them to lock him with the child in a safe place, and then they start preparing for the ritual to summon the devil. Kennedy says devil will reveal their darkest secrets. He will lie, and no matter what, they should not stop praying. They then bring the possessed Ritter there and lay him on the crucifix, after which they start nailing him on it. The devil asks Beatrice for help in Ritter's voice, but she does not listen to him and Kennedy's man nails his hands to the crucifix. Ritter first cries but then he starts laughing, and when Ivan throws holy water on him, the devil shows himself inside Ritter, seeing whom they all get terrified. Now they all start chanting prayers together, but then Beatrice and Ivan notice that the statues there are coming alive and suddenly a door opens. Then some clothes go flying on the faces of those two men, and Scorpion starts biting on the body of one of them, to escape from which he runs inside a door and gets killed. Ritter then says that Kennedy is tricking them, 
after which the other man also gets dragged into that door, and he too gets killed. After this Ivan and Beatrice start reciting prayers by placing their hands on Ritter's head, and in a short while everything calms down, and they feel that the devil is gone. But only then the crucifix starts levitating in the air, and on the other hand, Kennedy's crucifix also starts flying in the air, and Ritter falls down on the ground with that crucifix, due to which it breaks and Ritter becomes free. He pulls the nail out of his hand and stabs Ivan with that. He then proceeds to kill Beatrice and Issa starts crying. Demon asks Beatrice did she really believe she is the mother of God, and tells her that Kennedy is the real murderer. He is sacrificing children all on to break his pact with him. But before he could kill her, Kennedy comes there with his hands covered in blood, and he places his hands on Ritter's head and chest. He then starts chanting some spells and orders the devil to release Ritter's body and force him to enter his body. The tattoos on Kennedy's body then start burning and in exchange for his soul. He commands the devil to enter a rock for eternity. The devil enters the rock, but Kennedy dies in the process. Ritter wakes up after some time and Ivan also regains consciousness. We then see Ivan at the Vatican, where the Pope asks him where is the boy now. He says the master will reveal himself when the time comes, but for now, his location will remain unknown for everyone's safety. He shows them the proof that the child is the new messiah and he has all the recordings in his camera. Ivan requested the Holy Father for Kennedy's canonization which was accepted, but they ask him why they have to keep Ritter roaming along the boy because it's clearly dangerous. Ivan says Ritter has experienced and survived evil in his deepest and darkest form, so he will never be touched by the hand of evil, and that is why Ritter will be the boy's guardian until his next miracle. They then ask him what happened to the demon that killed Kennedy, to which he says it's trapped and buried in the desert where no one will ever find it. Now at the end of the movie, we are shown that vacuum sealed room where some sound is heard and a box falls, which means maybe the devil was not defeated. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon never to miss new video updates. Thanks for watching.